the Mojave Desert. I absolutely love it. It looks so ancient, so still, like nothing ever happens out here, when in fact, it's filled with abundance, beauty, and growth of all kinds. That's why today I'm gonna to meet up with my old friend from the Bureau of Land Management, Laura. She's a botanist, and through her eyes, see this completely different. I think a lot of people would look at the Mojave, see this dirt and go, well, it's got different colors, that's real nice, but this is really unique soil, isn't it? Yes, these are gypsum soils. These have a higher gypsum content and there's plants that just grow in these soils. When you say that, do you mean they just grow in Nevada? Um, there are some plants that we're gonna talk about today that just grow in Nevada and specifically Clark County. And so we say those are endemic to Clark County. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Here's something that stands out to me. This is, uh, well, I'm gonna guess it's a poppy of some kind. This is a poppy. So this is the Las Vegas bear poppy. Uh, the name is <laughs> describing where it grows, which is around Las Vegas. And I noticed too that some of these guys haven't woken up into spring yet, have they? <laughs> so these are actually towards the end of their flowering period. If you look, all of these are yeah. actually the early seed pods. If there are any that are still hanging down, like these right here, those are buds. Well, so those haven't become flowers yet. There's one, these guys look like they're all alert. Can we go look at this yeah. one? Why is it called the bear poppy? So it's called the bear poppy because the leaves are really fuzzy and they kind of look like bear feet. Okay, so when you look at something like this, you see this at the bottom, it is fuzzy. It's soft and fuzzy. This is all one plant. Yes, this is all one plant. Um, and these little hairs actually help protect the leaves from water loss. How in the world does this thing get pollinated? Because I'm not seeing a lot of bees out here. <laughs> so anything will pollinate this plant, but there is a solitary bee called the Mojave poppy bee and the Mojave poppy bee only pollinates this plant. So it only goes to the Las Vegas bear poppy. That itself, that right there, that's just gold. That's amazing. I don't see a bunch of these. First of all, when I think of poppies, I know there's big poppy fields in California. Is this a relative? Yeah, this is related to the other poppies you see fields of, but this is perennial. So it means it lives more than one year. And those poppy fields are all annuals. So they only live one year and then they die. Animals can be threatened and endangered. Can plants? Yeah, plants can be endangered too. So the uh, Las Vegas bear poppy is state endangered, and it's also been petitioned for Federal Endangered Species Act, Act listing. Which brings up a good question. I'm hiking in the Mojave, and I'm fortunate enough to see one of these. I, what do I do? I, I, can, I, can I just take one home? <laughs> no, you definitely shouldn't take one home. They're protected since they're state endangered already. Um, and these plants do have a lot of, face a lot of threats from things like off-highway vehicles, um, littering. Do, do these stay yellow all year round or what happens? What's the cycle? So they bloom this time of year. They usually bloom in April and then they'll go, go to seed in May and June. And things like ants will come along and take the seeds and move them around. You know what's amazing? You look at the Mojave and there's just brown and gray dirt and then Boom, this beautiful yellow plant just shows up just sporadically. Isn't that amazing? It's like a gift that just pops up randomly. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's spectacular. Now, there's another one over here I want to take a look at. Maybe you can tell me about it. Kind of looks like a little Christmas tree. Yeah, Let's go take it. that'd be great. OK, you're going to tell me something good about this one. What is uh, this? <laughs> so I, this is one we don't touch. This is Phacelia uh, palmeri. I'm glad you started with that. <laughs> So this plant also likes to grow on gypsum soils. It's only found on gypsum soils. And it's a type of phacelia. Is this endangered as well? It's not endangered, but it is um, sort of rare. Like it only grows on these specific soil types. It's unmistakable, the area that we're in. I, I, I see trash. How does that affect these guys? So things like dumping come with off-road driving, you can see tire tracks right here. Obviously these plants getting run over is an impact. And the tires also compact the soil, which is, you can feel it's kind of squishy. And that actually helps hold water, which helps these plants. Um, the trash dumping specifically, it can be on top of the plants. It also introduces weeds and people tend to set trash on fire too. So wow. that has impacts to these ecosystems too. I wonder how that makes you feel as a botanist out here in the Mojave. 
<laughs> I get very frustrated, I think. Um, I, I just think people don't understand how cool these plants are and how important they are. And if they did, maybe they wouldn't dump their trash out here. Do you ever talk to them? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I got you covered. She's taking really good care of you. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> There's another one over here. It's by its lonesome. Can we go look at that one? Yeah. Now, I'm guessing this is not a poppy, although it seems to want to try and look like one. It's not. So this is another what we call a gypsophile. So it lives in the gypsum. File means loving, so gypsophile. Huh. Um, this is called silverleaf sunray and it is related to the sunflowers that you grow in your garden. I don't see many more of these out here. Are these hard to find as well? They're actually, there's a bunch of them. They just don't have flowers on them. We're in a drought year this year, so not all of them have put up their stalks. Tell me about a bloom year versus a non-bloom year. How often does that happen? What does that mean? So there's been a lot of talk recently about super blooms. That's been a thing. Um, in the desert, where there's rain, there's flowers, and we just haven't had much rain this year. We're probably in the worst drought in like 20 years. <laughs> it's pretty bad this year, but you can see some flowers are still poking their heads up. Well, where there's education, there's value, and I think a lot of people might be tempted to just see this as sort of a, a wasteland, but once you read it through your eyes, you really start to, to value this, and you start to look for it. And, uh, and I wish you continued success in your, in your battle to educate everybody about the beautiful land that the Mojave is. Great, thank you.